In this video, we're going to come up with the parametric equations for the tangent line right here. So you've got your surface, this paraboloid, in 3D space, and then you've got your cylinder in 3D space. Where the two surfaces intersect, they will intersect right here. And uh, at this given point, at this given point, uh, we are going to uh, come up with the tangent line for, for this given point. Okay, so, so punch in your surfaces in uh, GeoGebra 3D. So jump to GeoGebra 3D, punch this in for your surface. So this is your surface here. And punch in your cylinder. This is your cylinder. Where the two intersect would be right, would, would be right, right along here. Would be right here. And then punch in your point, your, your particular point A. So I hope you can see A right Hang on. I hope you can see A right there, right here. That's your A. Okay, so going back to here. Um, let's just call this surface F. So the first thing to do is um, work out grad F. So grad F, uh, take the partial derivative with respect to X. Take the partial derivative with respect to Y. Take the partial derivative with respect to Z. So that would be 1. That would be negative one, so negative one, and then um, and then so so grad f represents all the vectors shooting straight out of this paraboloid. So it it it, rep, it, it allows you to work out, it allows you to um, to work out any vector at any given point, and the vector shoots straight out of the paraboloid. It will shoot straight out at the paraboloid, but you want this specific vector located right here so you want this vector here it shoots straight out of the paraboloid so you want to evaluate it at neg uh, at root 2 root 2 4 so uh, so let's put this into the x that will then give us this put this into the y that will then give us this put this into the z there is no z it's always going to be negative 1 so uh, so so this vector here will shoot straight out at this paraboloid for this particular point right here so let's let's show that in GeoGebra so jump to GeoGebra um, define your your vector so this is our vector 2 root 2 comma 2 root 2 comma negative 1 so this is our vector at the origin but now we want to move it so that it starts at A so um, so create a vector and then starting point will be a comma and then we defined a to be here plus u u is our vector right right here this is u here so um so by 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 punching this in you're actually describing the vector starting at a so you can see it's right there so let me hide this so hang on where is it so yeah i'm, I'm going to hide this there so that's our vector right at a so now going back to um, going back to here, we now need to look at the cylinder. Let's just call cylinder G. So let's just call this G. So work out grad G. Uh, take the partial derivative with respect to x. Take the partial derivative with respect to y. And then there is no z. So you, when you take the partial derivative of z, it would be zero. And then uh, you so so this grad G here sh uh, sh will will. Um, will allow you to work out all the vectors that shoot straight out of the cylinder so shoot straight out of the cylinder but you want to evaluate the vector located right here so you need to evaluate grad g located at root 2 root 2 4 located at, at our point so um, so that will shoot straight out of the cylinder so that will then give us this thing here so let's show that in GeoGebra so jump to GeoGebra. Remember, it's um, two root two positive, uh, positive two root two. So going back to GeoGebra, um, define a new vector. Hang on. So uh, define a new vector. So this is our, our grad. This is our grad G located at, at A. So it would be two root two, and then comma two root two comma zero. So that's that's uh, our vector grad G but we want to move it to A 
So, um, so to move it to A, define this vector bracket A comma A plus W. We defined our W to to represent grad G. So uh, that will then give us this vector here. So you can see that um, one vector shoots straight out of the cylinder, the other one shoots straight out of the paraboloid. Okay, so now we want a third vector that will be orthogonal to the other two vectors. So going back to here. So what, remember, when you have two vectors, uh, remember when you have um, when you have two vectors. If you want a third vector that's orthogonal to the other two, then uh, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, then take the cross product of the two vectors. So taking the cross product, uh, this is F, this is G, I think. Uh, yep. So uh, so this is um, this is F and this is G. So take the cross product. Remember the cross product would be I, discard, discard, and then look at this. So that's this bit here. And then for J, remember it's plus, minus, plus. So the next one would be J, looking at J, looking at J, discard, discard, discard. Now let's look at these. So that will then give us this. And then um, for K, looking at K, looking at K, discard, discard. Now look at this. So that would then be this. So it would be this times this take away this times this that will then give us this and then this times this take away this times this remember there's a negative here so that will then give us this thing and then uh, this times this take away this times this that would be zero so um, so that will then give us this factor here so let's uh, let's show this uh, in GeoGebra so remember it's 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 and then 0. So show this in GeoGebra. Jump to GeoGebra. Uh, define our vector. So this is our vector here. This is the cross product of um, F and G. So now we want to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> now, now that we've defined our vector C, um, we need to move it to A. So, um, so, so A plus A, A comma, sorry, vector bracket a comma a plus c so uh, so that will then move our vector to here so now it's located at a it's located at a so um, so now jump jumping back to here so now now that we know our vector now that we know our vector we can easily describe our line now our line would be our starting point and then for an increment of time it will move in this vector so uh, translate this into um, parametric so that would be x equals this thing and then y equals this thing and uh, and z equals z equals 4 okay z equals 4 so uh, this would describe our line okay